Welcome to Medap Incorporation YouTube channel. Please like and share this video and don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more content. These components, they are all as assembled as a swinging motor and this swinging motor um, helps the excavator to rotate, the upper structure of the excavator to rotate whilst the lower structure is at a stationary position. So this is the component which makes the excavator to rotate. There has been a damage in the internal component which resulted in no swinging of the excavator and we are here to assess to know the root cause of this damage. First of all, before you go into the parts or the root cause, you have to know the parts in it. You have to know the name and the function of each of the parts we have on this bench. This is known as the head. This is a sweeping head. Now, this head contains the inlets, both the inlets or the return, and contains the relief valve for each direction. These are the relief valve. We have the left side relief valve and the right side relief valve. So these are the relief valve for each direction because the rotation can be in the left or the right uh, direction. And this is the inlet port or let me say the manifold. The, this manifold, this, these two hoses or these two orifices direct the oil to the barrel which will determine whether it should if it's coming inside here the return will be outside here so this will be a one direction and this another direction so for instance this is the left direction and this is the right direction so when it enters here and come out here it has to rotate in the left direction if it comes here and returns here so it has to rotate in the right direction so from the manifold this the direction the oil will come as i said we have two directions the left and the right these are the direction coming from the manifold and this is known as the valve plates this one is damaged this is known as the valve plates so the valve plates is, is acting like a trust washer it's acting like a trust washer between the bevel this is known as the barra. This is known as the barra. Act as a trust washer, something like that. There's it. So this surface is meeting this surface. So the barrel is rotating whilst this one is stationary. The head is stationary. So to avoid direct contact with the head, that's why we introduce the valve plate. This is known as a valve plate. So it's just an intermediate plate and acting as a trust washer. So that it could prevent friction from the barrel to the head directly. As the piston, piston assembly, this piston has to be inserted inside the barrel. They are inside the barrel. There are nine in in pieces, like there are nine numbers. Usually, all piston, all piston motors or pumps have odd number they have odd number uh, as in uh, um, the, the components the piston components could either be five seven nine or eleven so this is how it operates you have the piston inside like this so here is a direction as the oil from the head comes so for instance, we have the piston in here, in this hole. So when the oil comes, when the oil is directed into this hose or these chambers, it fills up, it fills up. And when filling it up, it pushes this one, the piston out from the barrel. And pushing out from the barrel, which is, it has converted linear motion to rotary motion. So pushing it out is a linear motion. So this linear motion. So this linear motion is converted by angle. And an angle will determine 
the rotary this is the angle which is made which is integrated to the housing now we have this one here as the swing brake this is the swing brake these are the clutches the spring or the swinging is always and the brake is always engaged it's always engaged because if it's not engaged the machine can swing when it inclines by itself without any hydraulic pressure coming to the pistons so these brake or these clutches are always engaged they are engaged with the barrel so when the barrel is engaged which is the barrel cannot rotate so this is the procedure how it disengages to allow the swinging to work we have here in the housing this orifice in the housing is the swing brake pilot line coming to so as the operator operates into the swing direction an oil or the oil is permitted or an oil is allowed to pass through this orifice and this orifice comes inside comes inside the swing barrel or the swing housing and you can see there are two o-rings here these two o-rings resist the oil from getting into the housing that's leakage into the housing or to the uh, head so within these two o-ring is where this pressure will sustain this pressure will sustain so this pressure sustaining here will push or lift up the piston there's a brake piston so here comes the o-ring position this place and there's this one also so the oil pressure comes here and it's lifted or push this one upside push it upside so pushing it upside will disengage we have the springs here the springs are we have the springs here this is where the springs sits so the springs are pushing down so when the hydraulic pressure comes it pushes it up against the spring force and those will let these brakes to release they will be released and turn freely now we have this plate this is just a plate it is also an intermediate plate which will prevent direct contact of the piston this is the slippers of the piston direct contact from the piston to the housing itself so just an immediate plate so the slippers or the piston or the slippers it also rotates on this plate and this plate is inclined to an, an angle so for instance there's an angle and this is the piston on top so as the oil fills it pushes the piston out from the barrel so pushing the piston out from the barrel will slip and these are slippers which will permit it to slip on the intermediate plate so the rotation will start to occur the rotation will start to occur so, so in all this how the swinging operation happens when an excavator upper structure is rotating or revolving